Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm totally ready for it. I'm, I'm super excited. This has been, this is an amazing opportunity. I can't believe it. Wow. Okay. Well, hey, thanks for the call, you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, I have some work to do and some, uh, some training to accomplish. So I'm really looking forward to, to the next few months. So thanks so much. We'll talk to you guys really soon. Okay. Bye. channel and well what a weekend it's been uh, just had a call and uh, how's everyone doing hope everybody's doing well and staying safe happy and uh, enjoying Easter weekend uh, beautiful outside I'm a little bit in shock right now so I just have to kind of take sink this all in and uh, my little buddy my little buddy is up again. Make sure you're uh, subscribing to the channel because once I announce what I'm going to announce, you're not going to want to not subscribe to see the journey that I'm about to take. So I had a call with the organization that I'm doing my charity work with as far as um, running for Chicago. Turns out they've asked me to do a little bit more than just Chicago. So. I'm going to recap for everyone um, a little bit. If you're just tuning into the channel, um, first welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. My goal is to qualify for Boston and I, and I set on this five year journey for myself starting back in 2015 when I started to lose weight and I lost 206 pounds. That uh, is an entire vlog in itself, but we're talking today about my journey and where I'm at with my running. So, I'm still in shock, so <laughs> I'm just trying to take this all in. In any case though, um, what, what has happened is that um, I got into New York. So it looks like I'm doing Chicago. Well, let's recap the fall. Let's just back it up a little bit and we'll, let's just start at, the, at what I'm gonna be doing this and training for this coming fall if we're flying. So September the 12th, I'm going to be in Banff, Canada doing the Banff International Half Marathon. Um, it was supposed to be in June and uh, that was the original plan and then they postponed it to September. So right now the plan for me is to do Banff September the 12th. Just turned out now, I was asked by the game that the organization called Bright Pink that I'm running with for, for charity. I'm going to link my, my page description below if you wanted to donate. Um, I'll be in Chicago earlier than anticipated, which is okay. I've already booked the time off of work, so I already have this, this time booked. Um, I'll be in Chicago September the 26th to run the Hoka One uh, Half Marathon which is about a week and a bit before Chicago. So that would be marathon number, sorry, half marathon number two. Then uh, I'll stick around Chicago and on October the 10th, I'll be running the uh, Chicago marathon. You know, I think that would be enough. Um, and the only reason why I'm doing this is because there's enough of a gap between the two marathons. So I, I feel that there's enough of a gap between Chicago and New York City to allow me to come back home, rest a bit, and then go for a long, long weekend into, into New York to run the marathon in New York. Last year I was supposed to be in New York. I actually got into New York City Marathon last year. And then with the pandemic hit, it got canceled and like, you know, we all know the story after that. So this year, I got it I, with, with New York City, it's November the 7th. So that's almost a full month in between marathons. So that's perfect, so I can come home, rest, keep my, my pace up, go, go back, do New York City. And then I've gotten two of my Abbott Six Star medals in the same year, which is pretty incredible. And I'm not sure, um, you know, 
accomplished wise how many have been able to do that getting you know two back-to-back -back marathons under their belt for their for their six-star journey so I'm gonna go for it. I, I feel I am on the right path now for myself with my coaching. Um, and my times are getting better. I still got a long ways to go. Again, this is not the year that I'm gonna to use to qualify for Boston. This is my stepping stone to Boston. And next year I'm gonna use it as the year to qualify. And I might actually already have a way into Boston. I'm, I'm talking with the organization uh, that I'm work, running with and I might be able to next year run Boston uh, with with the same group as through a ch the charity uh, door as opposed to getting the three hour mark, which is I think is again obtainable I, and I think that's a good a, a good goal to set. Um, we're talking more about that and after I do New York, then I'll look at you know that as an option for next for next year for 2022. I also have, you mentioned my other vlog, Calgary Marathon book next year. So I'm gonna use the Calgary Marathon as my marathon to get my, my time in for Boston. So there we go. So that's basically what's gonna happen come fall. I, I got, I now have two, two marathons, two, um, and then and then two, two uh, half marathons planned. The nice thing is too, by, by having the different uh, marathons plan if one happens to get cancelled because of COVID maybe the other one will happen so it's kind of a, you know one can play with the other the other thing too is when you run with a charity or organization all of my entry fees everything are covered with the group which is great so that means that and it's for a good cause obviously because you're you know you're, you're you're supporting a worthwhile worthwhile cause but the costs are down for you too because because now my entry fee, fees are caught for New York City and my entry fees are caught for Chicago as well as uh, for the Chicago Half Marathon. And I've already paid for BAMP. So basically the only thing I'm paying for now is my air travel, um, which is which is um, which is considerably come down a lot in pricing too as well. So I, it's all achievable and attainable. I'm gonna, you know, once we get into a good place where we know we're flying in, I'll 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 book my flights and everything else. But I'm right now just sort of I've been pinching myself and I talked to a few of my friends in, the other day on, on the phone. I said, should I do this? You know, is it, am I putting too much pressure on myself? And everyone, you know, what have you got to lose? You know, opportunities knocking, take the opportunity when it comes. And this is my opportunity right now, opportunity right now for one, do something worthwhile and to, and to help an organization out um, and to be fundraising for, for cancer research. And two, an amazing goal for myself to be able to do two full marathons back to back um, October, November. So that's the update for everyone for today. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is, is my is my journeys now there and I got everything locked in. We're going for it. I'm going forward as, as to events happening this year. I'm not gonna be, you know, you know, timid that, you know, I'm training like they're going to happen as well. We're going to talk on uh, next vlog about what the training's looking at. I'm training now with my training plan by um, time. I'm not training by distance. And that's what my new running coach has set forth for me. And it's been interesting because when you're training by, by, uh, by, by time and not distance, there's different philosophies behind that. We'll get into that with, with, with the training background as, as I go forward with my training. My first two weeks of training are set, locked in. So we'll take a look at that next vlog to see what that's gonna look like as far as uh, my, my work is concerned over these next two weeks. Uh, right now I'm setting my zones for myself so that when my coach is analyzing my da data, then they can kind of better determine pace and, and what kind of a program I should be running. So that's where things are. Anyways. Have yourself an amazing weekend and get outside, do something for yourself, challenge yourself, and onward and upward. Let's get working.